At one's wit's end, understanding this English phrase. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into an interesting English phrase, at one's wit's end. This phrase is commonly used in English, but what does it really mean? Let's explore this together and make your English learning journey a bit easier and a lot more fun. The phrase, at one's wit's end, means being extremely distressed and not knowing what to do next. It's usually used when someone has tried everything possible to solve a problem but has run out of ideas. Wit, in this context refers to mental sharpness or intelligence. So, being at your wit's end is like saying your brain can't think of any more solutions. This phrase has a historical background. It first appeared in the King James Version of the Bible, specifically in Psalms 107 to 27. The sailors in the psalm were at their wit's end, meaning they were extremely confused and worried. Over time, this phrase became a part of everyday English language, retaining the essence of extreme confusion or distress. Let's see how to use at one's wit's end in sentences. 1. After trying to fix the car all day, I'm at my wit's end. 2. She was at her wit's end trying to meet the project deadline. Notice how it's used to express a state of frustration or helplessness after all efforts seem to fail. There are other expressions in English that convey a similar feeling. For example, at the end of one's rope, at a loss. These can be used interchangeably with at one's wit's end in some contexts. And that's a wrap on the phrase at one's wit's end. Remember, learning a language is all about understanding the nuances and expressions that make it rich and unique. We hope this video has shed some light on this interesting phrase. Keep practicing, and don't get to your wit's end with English. Until next time, happy learning!